Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to discuss about admin config related questions and answers. So if you are giving interview as a fresher, so there may be a question like what is Salesforce? So you can say Salesforce is the world's most popular CRM system. CRM basically stands for customer relationship management. So many companies and customers rely on this dynamic web-based low cost CRM platform. It was founded in 1999 by a formal Oracle executive, Mark Benioff. Salesforce CRM provides a complete feature rich solution for marketing, sales, services, health, nonprofit, education, partner, and community management, etc. Next question can be what is CRM? So, as I told you, it stands for customer relationship management. So, broadly defined, CRM is a strategy for managing a company's interaction with clients and sales prospects and ensuring the connect sustains throughout the relation. So if you want to build a system where you interact with the customer, so that system is basically known as customer relationship management and Salesforce uh, basically implements uh, uh, this functionality. So it can be known as a CRM. Now, what all editions are available in Salesforce? So we have personal edition, we have group edition, professional edition, enterprise edition, performance edition, unlimited edition, developer edition, contact manager editions. Then what all licenses are available in Salesforce? So Salesforce users license, Salesforce platform and lightning platform users, Chatter Plus users, Chatter Free users, Chatter External users, customer community, customer community plus and partner community external users, portal users who are a member of a Salesforce community. So these are some examples of licenses which are available in Salesforce. Now, some technical questions like what is object? So an object is similar to a database table in Salesforce where you can store information. So object can be of two type. It can be of standard type and can be of custom. So standard objects are those which are provided by Salesforce by default and custom objects are those which we create as per our requirement. So here you can see if you have standard objects, so label will be uh, account. It is just an example. And if you create custom objects, so uh, maybe uh, you provide label as student, then plural labels. These plural labels are used for tabs. So whenever you create tab for any object, so it uses plural label because under tab, you will be having more than one records. Then API name. So if you have standard objects, so it's API will be simple like uh, account. But if you have custom objects, so it's API name will be having underscore underscore C appended automatically. So this way, with the help of API name, you can easily recognize which is standard object and which is custom object. Now, one more thing, if you want to know or you want to learn like how to create object and other things that we will be discussing in this uh, question answer video. So you can uh, visit studysalesforce.com where I have placed all my uh, videos, those I created on Salesforce. So you can uh, view those videos so that you can learn things in detail. Next question can be asked like, what is field? So a field is like a database column. There are various data types are available in Salesforce to create fields. By entering values in fields, we create a record in Salesforce. Fields can be standard as well as custom. So if field is standard, so there, there won't be underscore underscore C appended in the API name. But if it is custom field, so you will see underscore underscore C for sure. Now, what is tab? So clicking on tabs, we can navigate around an application, right? So every tab serves as a starting point of viewing, editing, and entering information for a specific object. So you just need to remember like whenever you create any object. So if you want to access that object from the front end, so for that purpose, you need to create a tab. Otherwise you won't be able to access your object from the front end. So when we click a tab, the corresponding home page that object appears. For example, if we click the accounts tab, the accounts tab home page appears. 
it's it gives you access to all of the account records we can view details of a particular record by clicking on it so after creation of object tab creation is also an important thing now what is an app so an app is a container for all the objects tabs and other functionality it is similar to a programming project where we keep all our code files in salesforce app consists simply of a name a logo and ordered set of tabs so uh, apps can also be of two types like uh, some apps are provided by salesforce by default those can be called as standard application if you want to create new application so that is also possible so those are known as custom app and if you want to know like how we can create so again uh, i would say visit studysalesforce.com there you will find all the videos uh, to learn how these things works in salesforce what is record records are the rows or you can say entries in object which are uniquely identified by their ids we can create records by entering values in fields available in an object we can create add it view and delete a record in salesforce then standard navigation and console navigation applications so we have two types of application standard navigation opens one record at a time on the page whereas in console navigation if you open more than one record so they are opened in sub tabs together now if you want to create a field so there can be question like what type of uh, data types available if you want to create a field so this is the list so i'm just reading the names so that you can uh, remember few of them so we have auto number formula roll up summary look up relationship master detail relationship external look up relationship checkbox currency date date time email geolocation number percent phone pick list pick list multi select text text area text area long text area rich text encrypted time and url so these are the data types available so that uh, by picking any of the data type you can create fields now if you want to know like how we can create particular type of field so just visit studysalesforce.com there uh, you will find uh, individual videos related to these data types now what is lookup relationship so it creates a relationship that links one object to another object the relationship field allows users to click on a lookup icon to select a value from a pop up list the other is the source of the value in the list right so let's take an example if you have two objects or two entities for example college and student so you have created one object for college and one object for student now one college can have many students right so on student object you will be creating a lookup relationship that will look up to college so here you can see lookup relationship basically we use when we have one to many relationship so always remember lookup field is created on the child object which is the many which is on the many side and it will look up to the parent object and you can say like it is loosely coupled relationship because if parent records are deleted in that case child records are not deleted next is what is master detail relationship so it creates a special type of parent child relationship between two objects one is known as child or detail where we create where master detail relationship field so basically master detail relationship field you have to create on the child object as i explained for lookup and another one is known as parent or master so some more points are listed here so required on all detail records so if you create master detail relationship in that case all the child records must be linked to at least one parent record right it is required whereas in case of lookup it is optional ownership and sharing of a detail record is determined by the master record so the parent or master record sharing and security will be automatically applied to the detail or child records this doesn't go with lookup relationship 
if user deletes the master record, then all detailed records are deleted. One can create roll-up summary fields on the master record so that detailed records can be summarized. So it is a special feature that is only available with a master detail relationship. It is not available with lookup. Now, what is roll-up summary field? So it is a read-only field that displays the sum, minimum, or maximum value of a field in a related list. This field also can count all records available in the related list. Related list means uh, one object that is on parent side, if uh, it's record, if you open that record, and if it is, this object is linked with any child object. So all the child records related to that particular uh, parent record, they, they can be found in the related list. So whatever records are available in the related list, so roll-up summary will be applied on that. Roll-up summary field is always created on the parent object. Also, when you create the roll-up summary field, so you can apply conditional uh, roll-up summary as well. Like uh, you want to include all the records or uh, certain records basis on the condition. Now, again, if you want to know like how we can uh, implement these things, so just visit studysalesforce.com. Next question can be, can we convert lookup to master detail? Yes, but first you need to populate values in lookup field on each record available on the object. Because if you convert lookup to master detail, so in case of master detail, that field is required. It should have some value populated. Uh, but in case of lookup, it is optional. So you need to make sure if you are converting lookup field into master detail. So on each child record, that lookup field should be having some value. Next question, can we convert master detail to lookup? Yes, but if you have created roll-up summary fields, then you need to delete those fields before converting master detail to lookup. Many-to-many -many relationships, so it is another type of relationship. So lookup and master detail, both are one-to-many relationship. So lookup is loosely coupled and a master detail is tightly coupled relationship. But if you have a requirement like where uh, you want two objects and for example, we have two objects A and B. So A can be having one record and uh, many records, uh, those are available and under B object related and vice versa is also possible. Like uh, B record is parent and it is having uh, more than one child records, those are available under A. So uh, this, this is like many to many relationship. Okay, so here uh, you can see this can be implemented with the help of junction object. So example, object one is class and object two is student. So junction object create lookup or master detail field one related to class and another related to student object. So here if I elab elaborate this, so here you can understand we have two objects, class and student. So one class can have many students and one student can have many classes, right? So this way, if you want to build a relationship, so you can have junction object created. So that junction object will be having lookup and master detail uh, associated with both class and student. What is formula field? So it is a read-only field that derives its value from a formula expression you define. The formula field is updated when any of the source field change. What is the difference between picklist and multi-select picklist? So it is quite simple. Picklist in picklist user can select one option. In multi-select picklist user can select one or more option together. What is global picklist value set? So global picklist value set can be used by any picklist or multi-select picklist in any object. So for example. If you want to create a pick list under several object, which will be having weekdays. So what you can do, you can create a glo global pick list named as weekday and that global pick list you can use under any object, wherever you want to create pick list or multi-select pick list. What is field dependency? So create a dependent relationship that causes the value in the pick list or multi-select pick list to be dynamically filtered 
based on the value selected by the user in other another field. So the field that derives filtering is called the controlling field. Standard and custom checkboxes and pick lists with at least one and less than 300 values can be controlling field, right? The field that has its value filtered is called the dependent field. Custom pick list and multi-select pick list can be dependent fields. So this you need to remember about field dependency. Now, what is page layout? So page layout is used to display field values for records. Through page layout, we can control related lists as well. What is compact layout? So compact layout is used to display selected fields and buttons on the page. It is also known it is also shown when we hover on the lookup relationship field or maybe master detail relationship field. What is related list? So when lookup and master detail relationship fields are created, then on parent object related list will be available. Through related list, we can view child object records on parent object. Types of lightning pages. So we have three types, app page, home page, and record page. And if you want to create any of the page, so in setup quick find, you need to search app builder and through that app builder, you can create any type of the page. If you want to know how we can create, just visit studysalesforce.com. Component visibility. So it helps to apply filter criteria to control whether components should be visible on the page or not. So if you want to apply component visibility, so you need to edit your page. So to edit the page, you can go to top right corner. There you will see gear icon. If you click, you will find edit page option and it will open the app builder. And from there you can select particular component and then apply the component visibility. What is validation rule? So to apply custom validation, we create, we can build validation rules. Validation rule fires when the defined criteria matches upon record insertion, deletion, and updation, right? Next question is, what is feed tracking? So feed tracking enables to track changes of selected fields and related records as well. Changes are shown in the chatter component. It shows old value, new value, and who changed. What is field history tracking? So field history tracking enables to track changes of selected fields. Changes are shown in the history related list. It shows old value, new value, and who changed. What is activity component? So activity component enables users to use following actions like event, task, email, log up all. What is chatter component? So chatter component is used to track feeds. Users can post content on records. Also, they can mention other users. What is duplicate rule and matching rule? So duplicate rule prevent creation of duplicate records. It shows either warning or block record creation and updation. In case of duplicates, we can create reports on duplicate records as well. Also, we can apply uh, record sharing, like if you want to apply record sharing or you want to bypass. So there will be two options like bypass sharing or enforce sharing. Then matching rule. Here we need to set the criteria for duplicate check. What is list view? So list view shows lists of records available under object. We can choose which fields to display in the list view. We can also apply sharing and filters on list views. What is record type? So record type helps to launch different page layouts and can show different pick list values for different layouts. And if you want to know how we can create and how we can control uh, pick lists and uh, layout. So visit studysalesforce.com. What is schema builder? So schema builder helps to view objects and pictorial representation. One can see the relationships between multiple objects. One can create objects and fields through schema builder as well. And if you want to open schema builder, so you need to 
uh, open setup. In quick find, you can search for schema builder. What is email template? Email templates contains messages and merge fields that can be sent through automation tools like flow or trigger. Uh, we have classic email templates that is having text, HTML, custom, and visual force, four types. And we have lightning email template as well. Global action versus object specific action. Global action, one can execute operation without opening any record on object and object specific action can be executed through records of an object. One, sorry, what is sales process? So one cannot control sales pick list value of opportunity object through record type. So one can create a sales process to control stays pick list values of opportunity object for different record types. And uh, for this, I created a video that is available on study salesforce.com. So you just need to watch like how this can happen. What is support process? One cannot control status pick list value of case object through record type. So one can create a support process to control status pick list value of case object for different record type. So this process is also available on study salesforce.com. What is lead process? One cannot control status pick list value of lead object through record type. So one can create a lead process to control status pick list values of lead object for different record types. What is setup audit trails? So setup audit trail shows a list of changes done by a user in the org in different components. One can download past six months changes. And if you want to search for setup audit trail, so you need to go to setup and in quick find, you can search for setup audit trails. Different ways to make a field required. So you can make field required from field itself. Uh, you can make it required from page layout through validation rule and through trigger. Different ways to make a field read only. So through FLS field level security, through page layout, through validation rule and through trigger. What is help text? Help text basically shows uh, additional information about a field. It is optional to have help text for fields. What is data import wizard? So it helps to import data from Excel or CSV format into Salesforce. One can find this in setup. One can import up to 50,000 records at a time. One can perform insert, update, and upsert operations through data import wizard. So it is inbuilt in -built tool, you don't need to install it. It is available with your org by default. If you want to learn how it works, visit studysalesforce.com, go to administrator section, you will find it. What is data loader? It helps to import data from Excel or CSV format into Salesforce. One has to install it in the computer through setup. So in setup, you can find this and you can install. One can import up to 5 million records through it at a time, right? Operations in data loader. So we have insert, update, upsert, delete, export, export all. Includes delete records as well. So these are the operations which are uh, supported by data loader. And if you want to learn like how these operations work, so uh, I created a video which is available on studysalesforce.com in administrator section. Okay, so this is all about like admin configuration questions. So I tried to cover as many questions as I can. There may be uh, more questions, but uh, these are the basic things that you need to know if you are a fresher and you are appearing for admin interview. So I hope these question and answer will help you to prepare for interviews as a fresher. Thank you.